don't try to imply just because the other pages were not signed on the statement of the 28th, there is a lie. I don't like the fact that you make statements at the end of things and then you jump to the next question. When you make a statement to me, let me respond to it. Thank you. Um, okay, I'm moving away from this, but I just want okay. to... Oh, you move okay. away. I've got my yours. Okay. Thank you, Chair. Chair, because of um, Advocate Mpofu's line of questioning, I have to insist that he furnish us with the law that makes this a requirement. As far as I could see, the Justices of the Peace and Commissioners of Oaths Act contains no such requirement that a commissioner has to initial every page. Neither do the regulations uh, governing the administration of oaths of affirmation. But if there's a different law that uh, Advocate Bofu is aware of, it will assist us in this line of questioning as far as this affidavit is concerned. All right. Uh, Ma'am, ma you, when you were in your seven year stint as the public protector. So before you ask us, yes. so we now, we, we now know the name of the act. Yes, I know, I know it too, Chair. As it was given well, to me. Because uh, we're waiting for it. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, so it's, are you it's, feeling it's, better now? Wait, I'm, I'm on the okay. platform. All right. Don't create a dialogue, please. Okay. Uh, you've just asked me now to, mm. to, to be the chair. Yes. And now I'm, I'm in that chair. That all, right, chair. all right, all right. So I'm indicating that we now have that clarity Correct. about that act. Mm. And there's a point that says quite clearly, mm. uh, and it's going back to you yeah. in terms of in within that act, what section of that act yeah. is, is, is really requiring that. Right. Okay. It's the regulations. Cha Chairperson, I don't have the act in front of me right now. If you want me to take, I can take a break of your time no, and no. go and find it. I'm trying to save that and you are pushing me to give you a name of an act. What difference does that make? Now, this is, this is what we're going to do now. You ask that you're going to proceed yes. to the next point. I just want to indicate this now. Yeah. Your next point has got to be getting into the statement that brought us here yes. for the following reasons. Yeah. When we met here on the 1st of March, and this has been quoted several times, oh. uh, we concluded uh, in giving the directive that that statement which was uh, corrected uh, and, and cleaned up would be the statement that this committee was going to utilize for its own purposes yeah. uh, in terms of it being a written evidence. Okay. Is it an affidavit? Wait, oh. I'm speaking. I didn't even give you to, no, to sorry, speak. Please switch off your mic. And, and thereafter, as a chair of this committee, I wrote to the public protector to give a further opportunity, which is the proposal that you brought to say, we, even though we've taken a decision to utilize that statement as part of our deliberations, we are offering you another opportunity to come today and tomorrow to, to, to interact with the witness, to which you agreed. There's never been any objection about whether that statement is now, uh, objected to because it's not legal and so on. So I regard the exercise that I've been very patient to allow it happen. It, it's now become a peripheral issue in relation to what we're here for today and okay. tomorrow. Right. I want you to come and get into interacting with the witness based on the statement that this committee uh, adopted here, that it is going to use for now in terms of the testimony but also for its deliberations. Okay. Chairperson, if I may just respond to that. Firstly, you are being extremely unfair. I said to you on that day, and I have been hearing the witness saying we should have raised this on the first, but there were no proceedings on the first. There was a, we never, inter at least I never interacted with the witness, but even under those circumstances, Chair, I told you that we have problems with these statements. That's number one. Number two, I told you that the statement of the 28th arrived at 10.13 while I was talking to you. I started talking to you at 10 o'clock. So when was I going to uh, 
look at that statement and uh, see all the all the defects in it when it arrived while I was busy addressing you. That's the second point. The third point is that, as you know, this witness has refused to consult with us. If she had consulted with us even after the, 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 that time, all this would have been uh, resolved with her. So the only and first opportunity for us to deal with this matter is now and here. So no. for you to want to suppress, and, and lastly, Chair, and very importantly, sorry, Chair, the, the most important thing, I've said this, I'm saying it, I think, for the fourth time now, is to establish, there's no point in saying you made a ruling on the first. In fairness to you, when you made that ruling, surely you were making it on the assumption that this is an affidavit, like all affidavits that we've seen here. And you are entitled to, to, to believe that. When it is now being pointed out to you that this is not an affidavit, you can't refer me to a statement you made when you yourself had not seen the statement because it came at 10.13. Now, it, it, so you're just, you're just pulling me for no reason. No, let and me I'm, assist you. I'll yeah. give you back. Let me assist you. Uh, there's no bullying here. It, there is. Um, and in fact, even on the day, we indicated that there was nothing substantial that was changing the statement. Uh, I'm on record as having, having said that. And in fact, beyond that, the letter I wrote to you, which you responded yesterday, has no objection in that letter in relation to this issue. And no, that's, that's not true, Cha. Can we get the letter of yesterday? No, 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 no. I'm not going there. No, that's, you, that's you, definitely you will argue, false. No, you will argue your point. You will argue your point if you want to argue your point. Okay. I, I'm, I'm not interested that we're going to be all over the place instead of getting to the crux of what brought us here, Advocate Mbofu. No, Chairperson. We've been spending a number of times without getting into why we are here. Okay. We're here to lead the witness on an affidavit. Are, are we not? Go ahead. Yes. If we are, then it's important to establish whether there is an affidavit or not. Because, Chair, let me explain to you. You already had agreed that there is no statement. But it's, a it's a question of law. It's not a question of the committee. You are not agreed. able to prove which law that says it's not a statement of affidavit. No. You're not able to do that. No, we, we, no, that's about something else. You, you're just uh, uh, now... Uh, uh, okay, just finish and then I'm going to ignorance. ask to invite members no, to share with you. If you want to know quickly. Please. Honorable members, we have to just quickly deal with this issue. I'm going to give you the last yes. opportunity. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Chair, in, uh, since you seem to be obsessed with the name of the Act, it's the Justices of the Peace and Commissioners of Oaths Act, number 16 of 1963. I hope you are happy now. Sure. It, it, sure. it was raised. Okay. And uh, the, under, the, under that Act, there are regulations, and I will sure. give you the 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 reference but the witness has confirmed and in fact you stopped me at a point where this thing would have been done a long time ago chair i was just about to ask the witness whether in her seven years at the um uh public protector where she signed millions and millions of affidavits does she know that in in those affidavits in fact we, and we've got some of them here uh, the commissioner always signed every page or not. That's all I was going to ask and then move on. If she if she knows... That's fine. That's yeah. going to be your last question and then you get into yes, the meat of the Yes, sure. yes, Chair. Sure. Okay. You that opportunity. It, 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 it will be. Thank you, Chair. Um, the, but, but Chair, okay, you know, I, I really feel that you, 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 you just... Um, you, I, do, I don't understand why you're not interested to know whether there's an... It's not me who drafted the directives that said statements that come here must be affidavits. There's a reason for that, Chair. There are proceedings, for example, in the uh, Judicial Service Commission, Chair. The law there used to say that if you want to complain about a judge, you can make a statement. It was changed a few years ago to say, no, that complaint must come as an affidavit. There's a reason, Chair, that there's a difference between an affidavit and a, and a statement. So I'm saying to you... That shouldn't you, be a problem. That's yeah, fine. That, that's really all I was establishing. If, if the committee is not interested whether what is before it mm -hmm. is indeed an affidavit, well, that's the committee's I'll, prerogative. Thank you, Edwin. Both I'll come back to you to ask the last question. Let me and ask then you question. get into the, the yes. actual content of yeah. why we're here. But Edward Mayosi? 
the chair, I, 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 I want to leave this point. Uh, Advocate Mbofu is correct. The so justices of the peace and commissioners of Oaths Act 16 of 1963, but, he, but I would still really request him to show us which section in that act says that the law says what it does. The regulations governing the administration of, of oaths and affirmation which were updated in, on, on April, on 23 April 1982. I would again request him to show us where in the regulation right. there is this requirement that he relies upon. Yes. Uh, I will, okay. I will, on, on, thank you for raising that. Chair, I will, I will come to that and I'll give you the, after the break, I'll give you the, the particular section. I'm happy now simply to ask that question that uh, you allowed me to ask so that we move on and then when we come back I, will, I don't want to waste your time otherwise you if you feel like giving me a break you you may do so but um i think this can be resolved by just asking that one question okay at least Go at ahead. this point yeah Ma uh, advocate uh Madoncella? yes sir yes i want to ask you whether you in your in your experience as a public protector or as any anything to do with the law, uh, in the affidavits that you have signed before, whether it was in the Nkandra matter or any other uh, matter, you ever noticed that uh, you would be required to sign every page and so would the Commissioner of Oaths. If, if you remember, just from memory, if you don't, we will demonstrate later, but do you remember anything of that sort? No, I, I didn't okay. pay attention to the fact that Good. all of them were done the same way. All right, okay. No, that's fine, then let's leave it at that. We will leave it for legal argument, at which point we will uh, give the Commission all the law regarding all the um do can you uh, give us the the commission of oaths the one from not riding is he available to give an affidavit the one who did not sign every page he is definitely available he lives Good. here in Stalin, in somerset west that's fine that's good no then then we will we will uh avail ourselves of that opportunity thank you chair um now, I'm going to ask you the questions. I, I want to make it clear at this point that what you have presented to this committee is just a, a you know, we have demonstrated that it's a, a, um, a litany of uh, falsity, but certainly what you have presented as an affidavit is not an affidavit, and we will, but we'll leave that for legal argument. Um, I'm sure you don't agree with that conclusion, but we'll leave it to for argument, correct? I mean, no, when I say correct, I don't mean you agree. I mean, can we move no, on? I, I do have a question, sir, because we haven't discussed the, con the contents and your conclusion to now say it's a lot of falsity. I, I do not understand that. My understanding is that on this committee's agenda today is the statement of the 28th and my understanding is that last week your concern was only that it was it had a stem from north riding and today your concern has changed to the fact that it's not signed on every page where does the falsity come from now no i'm saying ma'am that it is not an affidavit. Let's for, forget how we got there. I'm, I'm just simply saying it is not an affidavit that is compliant with our laws. That, but I will ask you questions on it, on the assumption. Which law, sir? It is. The one that I just cited. Ah. Okay. All right. And and uh, let me, I'll, I'll give you the, if you want it again. Uh, anyway, no, let's not go there. I'm going to ask you questions now on the assumption that uh, the what you said 